What is up, YouTube Tool Tubers of the War? My name is Brad. Welcome to the workbench, and we have December's Inside Track Club Coupons of the Month. This is the big list, lots of coupons, and some pretty good deals in this one. And before we even get started, I want to apologize for coming out with this video about a week late. You know, for anybody that makes stuff on the side, or for a living even, Christmas is the busy time of year. People are buying gifts. So I've been spending many a late nights in the shop cranking out items. But anyways, let's get on with it. You're not here to listen to me ramble. As usual, we're going to get through these coupons as quick as possible. So if you see something you like, hit pause, take a screenshot, take it into the store and use it if you're an Inside Track Club member. And even if you're not, you can always still try. It's a 50-50 shot whether the cashier you happen to have really gives a shit or not. I've also got to give my warning, I didn't have time to go through every one of these coupons, so make sure that the item you're looking at is a better deal than using just a 20% off coupon, because you got to play the Harbor Freight coupon game. I try to break it down a little bit for y'all mid-month, so come back and watch that video where I will only show coupons that save you 30% or more. Been a pretty popular video so far, I think a lot of people are liking them. There's two deals I like right here is the Bauer. If you've already got the batteries and you might as well spend 10 bucks for a flashlight, it could come in handy at any given time. And then the quick release bar clamps, I call them F clamps. You're saving a little over 30% with them. That's $2 per clamp, limit four. So you buy the limit twice and you've pretty much already paid for your Inside Track Club membership. Speaking of which, Old Redemption Garage, he's got a pretty good channel over there, just did a video about why he thinks Inside Track Club is a scam of some sorts. Which is kind of funny because it's been one of my tool vlog topics that I plan on doing, so look for that coming out. I guess it'll be a response to his video now. But it definitely does depend on what tools you're buying. You got to get into the coupon game, even though it sucks. It's part of the Harbor Freight mantra, I guess. But I definitely do agree with one of his points, and that is if you are an Inside Track Club member, when you go to check out, Harbor Freight should automatically apply the best coupon at any given time. That is one thing they need to do, they need to look into, it'll get more people applying. People will definitely pay 20 to $30 for a year membership not to have to play this game. Because I know in my experience, I used to watch other people's videos like these, and until I found an item that would pay for my membership, basically, by using that coupon, I wouldn't buy the membership. I would just wait until a coupon came out. And that's what I suggest other people do. I mean, you can buy it on a whim if you want to, but you might as well save your money, watch my videos, other people's videos. When you see a coupon out there that saves you $20 or more, that's when you go ahead and buy the membership. And then the rest of the year is just bonus, basically. They got their small casters on sale right now for about 50% off. Harbor Freight is the go-to place for casters. Now these are light duty ones, but they have much better ones. You won't find cheaper casters at a better quality anywhere else, I think. Now I'm not going to talk through this whole video, even though I do think those cobalt drill bits are a pretty good deal. Haven't used them, don't know their quality, don't know the amount of cobalt, but $45 for a set of cobalt drill bits is dirt cheap. But like I was saying, I'm not going to talk through the whole video, so enjoy some music in the background, I guess. Some people have complained that I didn't talk through the entire video, but that's just not my style. I don't think y'all need to hear me ramble on about every single thing. Rather, I'll just come in and out when I see an item that I know something about, an item I think is a really good deal, one that I've used that I've loved, or one that I've used that's a piece of shit, because I don't want y'all to buy things that are pieces of shit like I already have. So now, I hope that you enjoy whatever crappy music I picked out for you. Now I really like these aluminum bar clamps that Harbor Freight sells. They give you a good amount of pressure. You're not going to get the same clamping pressure as from like a parallel clamp. I don't know why that went blue. But anyways, but they're better at keeping things parallel for like panel gloops and stuff than the F-style clamps. So check out the, the bar clamps. They're pretty nice I think. And there's ways to beef them up if you do want that extra clamping pressure. And I just bought this battery charger there, so I paid $30 for it, so I'm going to go in and get my $5, because you got 30 days, I think it is, if a coupon comes out at a better price, you can go in and get your refund.
If you're looking for a starter router bit set, I don't think you can go wrong with this black set. You might as well get ready to buy some diamond files uh, when you do buy those. Just like with their Forstner bitch, you're going to have to sharpen them. It's extremely easy to do on most of them though, and if you are interested in that, I'll give you a video showing you the difference between an unsharpened Harbor Freight Forstner bit and a freshly sharpened one. And I found some really cheap diamond files that go from like 100 grit to 600 grit on eBay. So if you would be interested in seeing something like that, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if I get enough people that want to see it, I'll make the video. I literally just noticed this coupon, but they have an electric food slicer. Somebody tell me what you would use that for. Is that like a meat slicer? Can you can you cut your own deli meat at home? That would be pretty cool. Somebody's also going to have to explain to me why they have a 5 inch rugged cast iron drill press milling vise for $54, but they also earlier had the 6 inch cross slide vise for $59. And this rugged one looks a little more beefy. Maybe it's a new item, or maybe they just always look so similar I never noticed that there's two of them. Not sure. Let me know what y'all think. And I love these multi packs of the grinding, cutoff, and flap disc. Now, they're not the best of the best. They're going to run out quickly, but for eight bucks, you can fly through them. They don't explode on contact like lots of people want you to think. People that say that just don't know what the fuck they're doing, to be honest with you. Excuse my French. The magnetic welding squares, I call them, uh, they're good. They're cheap as hell. The only thing that sucks is they don't have an off switch, so you have to constantly clean them. But the ones that do have an off switch are like $20 and up. So it is what it is. If you're a cheap ass and you don't mind cleaning them off like I do, you can get away with them, no problem. These little super glue packs, I always buy a ton of them when they go on sale. Just really handy to have in the shop when they're in the little tubes like that. You don't have to worry about them drying out at all. I actually just had a valve stem blow out of my lawnmower tire and since i didn't want to run all the way back in town you know waste an hour of my day i super glued that sucker right back in there and it held long enough for me to cut my grass at least And I think most of y'all already know my opinion of this grinder with flex shaft. And if you haven't seen my review of it, go check it out. Uh, Paul Abdul makes a few appearances, oddly enough. Straight up now, tell me, do you really want to love me forever? Oh, 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 am I coming and run? And with that, since you're probably stopping the video after that horrible singing expose, we are at the end of our coupon video. So I hope you found something you liked. Hope you hit pause took a screenshot and if you need a 20% off coupon I will go ahead and pop up a picture one after the outro. If you found out something of value from this video whether it be a coupon or some great advice from yours truly go ahead and leave a comment down below. Thank me by hitting that subscribe button telling your friends about these amazing incredibly awesome videos and don't forget to come back for my mid-month best coupons of the month where I will show only coupons that save you 30% or more. I actually go through, break them down just for you, sir 
or ma'am. But until next time, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button down there, and I'll holler at y'all next time. Peace!